What's going on guys? It's your boy the GCC here at the top five bad match sets that Lego needs to make. If you enjoyed today's video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. Now let's get into our first set. All right guys, the first set that we're going to be talking about today is the Imperial Clone Turbo Tank. This set looks really cool. We haven't had a clone turbo tank since 2016. Um, I really like the design of this one. It looks a little more boxy and more realistic to the actual TV shows and the movies that it was in. Looks like you would get five minifigures including Little Hera, Captain Hauser, Phase 2 Clone Troopers, um, Imperial Crosshair, or a Sniper, and then just another Orange Twilight. It just looks amazing, honestly. I would love to get that Captain Hauser minifigure. He's a very desirable clone to have, um, especially just to add to our clone armies and stuff like that. But overall, it just looks amazing. I think the Clone Turbo Tank would have some nice interior space to hold your minifigures. And I would love to have maybe like a small ATRT Walker included in the build, you know, just as a little something extra. The one negative thing about this set is it definitely would be going close to $200. I definitely think Lego could be pushing this to the $180 or $200 mark. But now let's move on to the next set. All right, guys, the next set that we're going to be talking about today is the Clone Walker Battle Pack. I really love this set. Obviously, in the set, you would get four solid Phase 2 Clone Troopers, one being the Phase 2 Clone Gunner that we got in the 2022 ATTE, two regular Phase 2 Clone Troopers. Then, of course, in the top left, Captain Wilco, who was shown in the first two episodes of the Battle batch season two i love captain wilco and i definitely think lego needs to make him as a minifigure the atrt itself looks really nice you know of course we've had a bunch of atrts made in the past but you know just added to the walker collection or whatever of course you would have the double holes stationed on the minifigure helmet which is okay obviously you could have some accessories to go along with your clone troopers but i'm not the biggest fan of the double holes i know you guys have your own opinions on that um, of course you would get a turret blaster as you guys can see in the front it looks pretty decent. Of course, we had that in the Snow Trooper Battle Pack. Friend. I definitely could see this set going for around that $20 or $30. And it'd just be a great way to build up those Phase 2 Clone Troopers. The last time we had these Phase 2 White Clone Troopers was in the Turbo Tank Micro Fighter. I think back in 2013 or 2014. So it's definitely been a while since we've had those clones. But I definitely love this set and I'm hoping LEGO makes this. Now let's move on to our next set. All right, guys. You know what time it is. It is meme set time. And today we have Luke Skywalker blue milk farm this is an awesome set i definitely could see this going for around 30 dollars because of course you would get a number of minifigures and obviously that blue milk luke skywalker is this is just a funny 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 set of course the meme itself is awesome of course um the blue milk farm boy luke skywalker was included in the uh star wars skywalker saga video game which i do not know why they gave us another farm boy luke we've had so many farm boy lukes the past but this set is amazing i would love to see this again for the may 4th promo um it looks like you would get grogu luke skywalker a couple of calves and cows whatever you want to call them darth vader r2d2 c3po and ithorian a tuscan raider and then of course max rebo i love how c3po is just selling the blue milk of course luke is making a big profit of course he has that blue mustache across his face which is awesome of course we would get another farm boy luke in included in the set and i love this set let's move on to our next set all right lads the next set that we're going to be talking about today is an amazing set it is the assault on desix looks absolutely amazing of course it is an aat which we got in 2020 but of course this is um post clone wars atat um you would get an imperial commander cody which would be awesome of course we just got phase two commander cody in the summer of 2022 but an imperial one would just be so cool and i definitely see that as um something lego would do because they would want to keep reusing that mold um you know of his helmet and just the print so it'd be really cool if they did something like that um another imperial crosshair would be nice we haven't got him since 2020 in the bad bat shuttle and then just of course two b1 battle droids it looks like you would get a commander as well as just a regular b1 battle droid it's just a nice inclusion to throw in there i definitely would see this set going for at least 30 or 40 dollars overall the aat itself looks really nice i love the detail he put in to the set it just looks really cool and really 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 show accurate which is awesome i love that episode of the bad batch so definitely go check that out but it just looks really accurate and it's betterly designed than the 2020 aat so i definitely see more people wanting to pick this up now let's move on to our final set all right lads the final set that we're going to be talking about today is the camino training facility obviously this is based off of season one of the bad batch and i really love this set honestly you know it'd be a great way to get
get some of those Camino builds that we've never had before. You know, the training facility is such an iconic scene from the Clone Wars show, and then obviously in the Bad Batch show. It looks like you would have a great selection of minifigures, of course, being Omega, Wrecker, Admiral Tarkin, a Kaminoan minifigure, and then it looks like one or two Dark Trooper droids. Correct me if I'm wrong if they are not Dark Troopers, but I really love this scene in the Bad Batch, and I definitely could see LEGO making something like this, and I could see it going for around that $90 to $100 mark just because of LEGO's price increase, honestly. You know, the minifigures look pretty decent, honestly. We've had a lot of these minifigures before, but I definitely think the build itself looks really nice. Of course, you can have the turrets, of, as you guys can see on the far left and far right. Of course, you can have your little barricades, which can be, also be used in, like, your mocks and stuff like that, which I think is pretty cool. And then, of course, that lookout that you can see Tarkin in the Camino and looking over Wrecker and Omega. And I really love this set. You know, I don't know if LEGO would ever make this type of set. I definitely think we need some type of Camino build, though. You know, we finally got a Camino and minifigure this past summer. And I'm hoping LEGO makes some sort of Camino build in the near future. Congratulations, guys. You have made it to the end of the video. I really hope you guys enjoyed today's video. I had a fun time putting it together, and I definitely think LEGO needs to make some of these awesome Bad Batch sets. Shout out to BrickWizard59, BrickSet Ideas, and Eric Designs for making these awesome sets. I'll put a link to their Instagrams down in the description below. If you enjoyed today's video or you're new to the channel, go ahead, hit that subscribe button. I'd really appreciate it. You would help out the channel big time. And honestly, you would make my day. Also, go ahead, give this video a thumbs up. Again, I'd really appreciate it. And you would help out the video big time. I know I say that a lot, guys, but it really would mean a lot. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video and I'll see you in the next one.